Hi, it's Jeff Frick from Silicon Angles, The Cube. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, and we're starting a lot more mobile events now, going out to the companies uh, where they are, when they're making important announcements, when they have great news to share, as opposed to just being at the large events. I'm here at Accelerator today with Nolan Wright, the uh, co-founder and CTO, and we're here today because they have a big announcement. They've got a live uh, stream. Maybe you guys are on it right now on U on um, Ustream or... Yeah, a new stream, and they're announcing their enterprise platform launch. And I've got the notes here, Nolan. It's mobile first, enterprise SaaS platform built from the ground up for mobile. So, first off, um, welcome to the Cube. And you know, we've been at a lot of shows lately, and there's clearly three big kind of transformative events that are happening that we've been covering. Um, uh, one of them obviously is cloud, one of them is social, and one of them is mobile. But the other piece that kind of rolls all those up that we're seeing more and more is people's expectation around um, enterprise applications being driven by their experience with their, their regular applications that they work with. Somebody said at one of our last shows, kind of what I do on the weekend, I now want that to, to be what I do during the week. So talk a little bit about what's going on here at Accelerator and how that kind of fits into that. Sure. You, the first point, or the point you just made, is I think a really critical point. Is and we're seeing this too with our customers. Is, is that user experience really matters not just for consumer applications, but for employee applications. And the other thing that's also driving that um, is trends like BYOD and BYOA. Um, you know, in the old days, IT could really dictate and mandate hardware and software, uh, but with mobile and BYOD and BYOA, they can't really do that so much. So we're seeing. Enterprises really uh, focus on great user experience for employee-faced apps as well as consumer-facing apps. So it's a it's a big change, but it's um it's we, you know we we view it's a good change and something we've been prepared for. Um, now back to the platform announcement. So yeah, we're we're announcing what we believe is really the first mobile first not to use first twice, but <laughs> mobile first platform out there. And you know we've always believed that mobile's driving fundamental shifts to every phase of the software development lifecycle. And so this platform's been designed really from the ground up to help people create great apps great user experience for both, you know, consumer facing, business facing, or employee facing, you know, deliver those on the cloud, do that quickly, you know, do things like testing, have great visibility in your applications, because obviously you need to know what's going on in your application to drive improvements into it, and you need to do all this very quickly, because one of the things we're seeing with mobile is, that it's kind of a opposing forces. One is like, users want uh, apps delivered faster, so release cycles have gone from months to weeks with frequent updates. But at the same time, the, the demand for innovation and quality has gone up. And so, you know, our platform is really designed to really help you deliver great experience, do it quickly, but with really high quality and, and with great innovation. So talk a little bit about the history of Accelerator. You guys have been around for a long time, and, and, and I think it's probably an accurate assessment that, you know, most of the early mobile apps were, you know, games and, and kind of fun things. And talk about how the company has changed as mobile has grasped really the enterprise side. And then the second piece, if you can, when you're working with your customers, um, how do you help them not just recreate what they've got on their desktop applications in mobile, but really think through how a mobile application is completely different and, and rethinking the way they're trying to accomplish tasks with a mobile app? That's a good question. So, you know, in terms of how we've evolved, you know, we've always you know, been we've always seen this as sort of an enterprise or as, as an enterprise opportunity. You know, we we uh, we've always talked about this this has how it's similar to what BEA did for the web technology stack. You know, when the web came along, the technology stacks were completely changed, and BEA emerged as a multi-billion-dollar company who really redefined that. So we've always seen this as that type of opportunity. It's just been a question of evolution, and with a lot of big technology shifts, they start in the consumer world, and then they you know they move on to the enterprise world. And so you know, knowing that. We, you know, we, we we certainly we focused early with consumer, but the technology stack we were building was always meant to be focused very horizontally and to solve both consumer-facing problems as well as enterprise applications. Um, and so that's always been the the goal from the outset. It's just been one of these things where you have to evolve it over time. Um, in terms of how we help customers deliver some of these really good mobile-first experiences, a lot of that's really deep in the technology itself. So. Really, it's about making it easy to build, you know, great user experiences, a lot of reusability, you know, letting people build reusable components that they can take from app to app, app you know, from app to app. Um, and so that's 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 one part. The other part too is, is we you know we spend a lot of time with our customers evangelizing that you know mobile is the opportunity with mobile is to reimagine things from the ground up. You know, don't it's not about like you said taking a web application and simply moving it to mobile. It's how do I really rethink business processes? And you know, some of the examples we use are more in the consumer world, like with Uber. You know, Uber is a great app where 
I can now get a taxi through my uh, iPhone and I, all the payments handled automatically. And so we try to help our customers really think about their, their own business processes that way because that's the real opportunity and that's really what we try to promote. And our technology is built entirely to help, help support that. That's great. Okay, so one last question is, I was listening to Jeff on the on the Ustream announcement, and he talked a little bit about open source and what open source means to you as a company. I mean, we were at OpenStack Summit a couple, three weeks ago, and it was really interesting hearing companies like Rackspace and even HP talk about how just an open source, you know, not only just for reducing costs with their core components inside their own, but really how it changes the culture of the company using outside contributors, uh, enabling you to bring you know, people that are excited about a space into your company to work for you because they get to do some stuff. Talk about the open source, open source culture here at Accelerator and how that's infected uh, the, the company as you've grown it. It's also a really good question. So, you know, we really, open source has been a part of the company since we started. And, you know, it just gets back to a fundamental set of beliefs that Jeff and I have, which is, you know, we don't want to be closed off to in only the innovation we can do within the four walls of this company. So we want we want to open things that we've always wanted to make things open and open source, but also extensible. So make it easy for people to not only work on our technology and you know identify issues and fix them, but also like extend the product. And so every part of our stack from everything we've ever built is always open and extensible. And it's just you know we just feel like that's where the world has been heading for a while. And um, it, it's, and I think also the other thing is if you can build a really strong community of developers, of ISVs and partners who are all, you know, leveraging the openness and the, the extensibility, it's very difficult to compete with that. It's a very defensible business strategy. Um, but at the end of the day, I think for, for customers, the benefit is you get, you really get all this great access to technology you wouldn't get from just a vendor who's closed and proprietary. And also it's, you, you, to some degree, you're, you're, you're um, you don't have to worry about lock-in so much because it is open source. The code's out there, um, and so you're you're able to you know make changes and do things like that. So it's just to us, it's always been a fundamental part of our strategy from a business standpoint. And it's just we think that's where the world is definitely going. And you know we've seen the fruits of that. Like so much of the success we've had has been has been because of our ISV partners, our developers, and our and our integration partners. So it's you know it's, the strategy is really paying off. That's great. Well, thank you. So it's exciting times here at Accelerator. Um, check it out. Uh, Nolan, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We're glad we could come out and cover the event. We've got a couple more guest lines up, so we'll be right back.